Hello friends, and welcome to today's episode. Most people think of backpacks as places to keep books, but for many school kids, this is where they hide their secrets. Hide test papers to hide those bad grades, bring something into school that isn't supposed to be there, or hide books and games that your parents don't like. We think this is the best place for us to be during school because we don't want anyone to get in the way of our privacy. But what if I told you that a kid from Houston, Texas, had something much bigger to hide than any of these things? The seven-year-old girl went one step further and kept her secret for a long time. She was finally caught and her mother was shocked when she told her what had happened. In this story, a girl named Addie did some strange and amazing things that shocked everyone. That day, her daughter's backpack looked different and she knew something wasn't right. From how full and puffed up the bag looked, it seemed like it was filled with something. That's right, the bag did look fat. It wasn't because she packed her daughter's lunch with too much junk food, but she had to find out. Since she was a mom, it made sense for her to worry. So when she went to get the bag and opened it up to see what was inside, she was so shocked that her jaw dropped to the floor. When she learned what her daughter was doing, she was shocked. Remember when we were kids and brought toys and other things to school without permission? The things that had nothing to do with school at all, but it was so exciting to get into trouble without getting caught. Okay. There have been times when I was caught and times when I saw other kids being caught bragging in school. When we were that age, there were no fidget spinners, but we did have things like comic books, plastic models, play cards, remote keys, portable video games, and other things that we put in our bags before going to school. Which is why her mom wouldn't be shocked if she had done something like that. No one worries about and looks out for the babies more than their mother. She understood that her daughter was still a child and couldn't tell the difference between right and wrong. Kids usually don't understand what adults do because they are too busy being naughty to care that having too much in their backpacks hurts their weak backs. Their backs can get hurt by the pressure sometimes. Since she wanted to find out what her daughter was hiding in her backpack, she opened it and found something she could never have thought. When two people get married, one of the first things they dream about is having their own family. When someone is pregnant for the first time, it can be hard on their body. Since you're new to it, each person will give you different tips. It's hard for women to deal with all the changes that happen in their bodies. Not to mention the mood changes that happen from time to time. The lovely couple was finally happy and thrilled to see their daughter. Giving birth is unbelievably painful, it's like having 20 broken bones all at once. Thank you to all the moms out there. It was clear that she was very tired because she had just given birth. But when she saw her baby's face, she felt better. Well, being a mom is the best thing in the world. But they quickly saw that something wasn't right. What did it do? As soon as the young couple held their baby girl for the first time, they saw that things were not quite right. There was something wrong with the baby's legs that made them look ugly. It was hard for them to understand what was wrong with their baby, and they looked hopelessly at the doctors. The doctor's worried face made them feel even worse, so they didn't feel better. They had to face the harsh truth that their little baby was going to have a hard time. The worst thing for a parent is being unable to help their child suffer. She had only been alive for a few days before she had to go through a couple of difficult surgeries. The only way to treat and fix the baby's leg problem was to do what had to be done. Thank goodness the baby wasn't in any pain. Nevertheless, she was eager to learn more about what was troubling her kid and jumped right in to find out. There is nothing you can say to a parent whose child is going to have surgery or is already sick, especially when the child is so young. No one could have said or done much to make her mom feel better. She knew she had to stay strong no matter how hard things got. During this hard trip, she promised herself that she would always be there for her daughter and not leave her side. Thanks to their strong will and determination, everything turned out well in the end. They went to the doctor's office so often that they had lost track of how many times they had been there. It almost happened every day. They were having a hard time setting everything straight. They were already going through a lot mentally, and they had to miss a lot of work, which was not easy for them to do. At one point, they weren't even sure of keeping their jobs, and they were having a hard time paying for the expensive doctor trips and medicines they had to take afterward. It was hard for them, but they fought until the end for their child, and in the end it paid off. Now they knew what they had been going through with their little girl. The little girl was found to have Larson syndrome, a genetic trait that affects one in 1,000 people. 
It can also lead to other problems, like hammer toe in some kids. But that wasn't the case with this child. In fact, she had other big disabilities that can make it hard to grow and move. They were heartbroken when they learned how much trouble their baby daughter was in. The doctor's words broke her, and she was in terrible pain because of them. That's how lost she felt. All the plans she had for her daughter were falling apart right in front of her eyes. She told herself that her little angel would never be able to play outside with other kids her age. The mother had a lot of things going through her head. How would her childhood and the rest of her life be? Could she learn to ride a bike someday? For her, all the dreams that parents have come true, like squeezing their child's finger and showing them how to walk and ride a bike, seemed impossible. It broke her heart. Before, it was hard to say for sure what would happen, but things didn't look good for the little girl. Kids with Larson syndrome can have a lot of problems with their bones, including problems with their growth. But that's not the only problem they have, or at least that's not the worst thing that can happen. A lot of other signs are very similar and hard to tell apart, which made her worry about what the future held for her daughter. These parents were always glad to have their little girl in their lives, even when things went wrong. They loved their daughter Addie more than anything else in the world. They were happy with her all the time, but they hated seeing her hurt. Addie had a hard time walking because her legs weren't straight and were bent, which made it impossible for her to move around easily. Doctors were even afraid that Addie would never be able to walk again, but her parents weren't ready to give up. Their whole family was ready to do anything to help their daughter get back on her feet. As for Addie, she had to have four surgeries, but she got better quickly. Addie and her parents were excited to leave the hospital and go back to their own house. At the Texas Scottish Rite Hospital, Addie's tiny legs were fixed. The staff at the hospital made Addie and her parents feel like they were at home by being friendly and helpful. But the thing was, Addie and her parents had been going to the hospital all the time since her surgery, so they hadn't had a normal life. It made them happy to think about going back home and spending time with their family in normal places. The parents were pleased when they saw what they were about to see on the way home. It was clear that Addie was in great health because she moved like any other kid her age. But she still had a small bend in her legs, which was annoying, but Addie didn't mind. That, too, she could move around in however she liked. There were times when things looked good for Addie and her family, but they still had a long way to go. They would learn this much later in life. It had been a lucky day for them because they had done almost everything they could to make sure their daughter Addie had a normal life. After a few surgeries and therapy sessions, Addie was able to control her condition and finally enjoy the freedom that comes with being able to move. Little Addie was very strong, and she had not only lived, but also beaten Larson syndrome. Her parents have always wanted to take her to the park for walks and to swim classes. They also wanted to watch her rollerblade and pick her up when she falls. Now all of their dreams were coming true, but they had no idea what life had in store for them. Annie had 65 surgeries just to fix the way her legs were positioned. If you saw her when she was 7 years old, you would not have believed it. An adult's willpower would be broken by even half of 65 treatments, but this little girl showed that age is nothing more than a number by being brave and independent. She, too, wanted things to be normal for herself and she kept going through the pain with a smile on her face because she knew it would all pay off in the end. She has always dreamed of living in a world where she can run and walk like other kids. But this wasn't the last thing that stopped the family from being happy. They would find out soon enough. At this point, Addie had spent most of her time, or even most of her life, at the Texas Scottish Rite Hospital, where she was getting treatment for her underlying problem, having surgery, or going to physical therapy. Because of this, she made sure to make the most of her time at home after finishing her treatment. Outside, she would run and jump all over the place. She never missed school and always played sports with her friends outside. All of these actions looked normal to everyone, but no one knew that this little girl was hiding a big secret. Addie had been hiding something the whole time, and it wasn't just getting into trouble. The size of her secret was much bigger than what you would expect from a seven-year-old. Addie's parents were extra careful with her because she had a medical problem, so they were always watching her. For her to do something really bad behind their back is really shocking. Why did it happen right in front of Addie's mother? She could only blame herself. Addie's parents had seen her in the hospital bed for most of their lives. When she finally got back to normal, they saw her playing and hanging out with her school friends. 
But Addie's day with her school friends wasn't a nice one. The truth is that she wasn't even close to playing. This little girl had something to hide, and her mom could tell because her bag looked bigger than normal. It was late at night when Addie fell asleep, which is when her mom checked her backpack. To find out what her daughter was hiding in her bag, which had become smooth from the weight of the thing inside it, she went into her room. The moment she took the bag off, she was shocked by what she saw. A bunch of bills and piles of cash were hidden in her bag. Her mother was scared to see so much cash, and she was shocked to learn that her seven-year-old had been hiding a bag full of cash. How did a seven-year-old get it? She had to know what to do right away. The last thing they thought would happen to them was finding dollar bills in their seven-year-old's backpack. Addie's mom thought the worst thing was that her daughter might have had more books in her backpack than normal. They began to worry that their daughter might have been tricked into doing something wrong. In their minds, it didn't make sense how she got so much money. What Addie's mom saw almost gave her a heart attack, but she stayed calm, got her confidence back, and chose to put it out of her mind for the night so she could talk to Addie about it in the morning. But she couldn't sleep because she kept thinking of different ways Addie could have kept such a big secret from her. They would soon find out the real reason their daughter did what she did, which would leave them speechless. Even though Addie's mom tried to sleep, she felt tense and worried when she woke up the next morning. It was time to talk to Addie, so they went out and found things. Because of what she had learned that day, she was scared, but talking to Addie seemed like the only way out for now. But when Addie's parents heard it from her, they went from being shocked and scared to being happy. To her parents' surprise, Addie told them how she got so much money in her bag. I'm just holding a sign that says, for my birthday wish, I want to raise $8,000 for Texas Scottish Rite Hospital. When they found out the truth, they couldn't believe it and gasped. This sweet seven-year-old girl came up with this idea to raise money all by herself. After what she had been through, she cared so much about other people that she wanted to help people in need on her birthday. Even though Addie was only seven years old, she had been through a lot in her life. However, she was kind to others and wanted to thank the Texas Scottish Rite Hospital for all they had done for her. Addie's mom thought her daughter was too young to act like a teenager. She had never thought her daughter would act so old. I was amazed at how generous Addie was, which made it clear that she is much more mature than her age would suggest. Andy's mom was so proud of her daughter for what she did that she quickly joined the cause. She stood outside with her daughter in a busy Texas area to back her up. There was some uncertainty among the doctors, and just a few weeks ago, they told Addie's mother that her daughter might never walk again. But the rest is history. On a very hot day, she stood there with a sign in her hand, giving everything she had to return the place that had helped her. People quickly noticed Addie's kind act. Neighbors and people walking by saw her and thanked her for not caring about herself. The media was also interested in Addie's kindness, and many people shared her story online. For Addie, Getting $8,000 was the final goal she had set, and she would soon reach that goal. But to her surprise, she would go even further and get much more than that. More and more people were amazed by what they saw when Addie's story spread on social media. Everyone could see that Addie had a kind heart, and even her parents were praised for raising such a caring person. Kids often learn from their parents and the things they see around them. Her kind act may have been like something she saw her parents do when she was young. What was she going to do with the money she had, even though her problems had made her stronger? When he was seven, most kids wouldn't think twice about hanging out with their friends or watching movies, but this girl had bigger plans for her future. Anyone would have to work hard for a long time to make $20,000, but Addie did it in no time. Even though this was a big deal on its own, she would soon learn that her campaign was really taking off. After a few days, Addie got a note from someone she didn't know along with a check for $50,000 to help kids who were going through the same health and mental health problems she was. But did you know that Addie really wanted to help the hospital? Addie came from a normal working-class family that had a hard time paying for the medical bills she needed. When they found out their daughter had a trait, they were heartbroken. All they wanted was to help her get better. They wanted the best for their daughter but they couldn't be happy because they didn't have enough money. They were lucky, though, because Texas Scottish Rite Hospital, which ran on gifts, stepped up to help them. The hospital is a big reason why Addie is where she is now in her life. Even if it's a long-term drug, therapy, surgery, or rehab, the amount of money needed to keep up with them can be too much for the average person. 
The care is pretty pricey everywhere in the world, and for many families, it's almost too expensive to pay for. It's even worse when they have to sell their house or other valuables to get the money they need and then get into debt. Addie and her family didn't have to go through a lot of pain because Texas Scottish Rite Hospital helped them. Everyone knows that the media is everywhere and can't be missed. Over a million people can see it at the same time, and they sometimes don't think twice about sharing a sweet message like Addie's. Ad said, I want to give the money to the hospital so that other kids like me can get new prosthetics. A lot of people are moved by Addie's story, and she finally got what she wanted for her birthday. What a happy moment for the parents of Addie. On her birthday, their daughter not only made a wish for others, but she also made things easier for people who needed it, just like she used to. We adults can learn a lot from the seven-year-old. Someone once said, be the change you want to see in the world, and the little girl gave a great answer to the question of how we can do that. We can learn from her story and make the world a better place if a seven-year-old can. That's it for today, friends. Please let us know what you think about this story. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon for more amazing stories.